I am so excited to have a dear friend of ours get married in the garden house. It is beyond a dream. When I first built this house, I knew that I wanted to not only entertain here uh, for ourselves, Sean and I love to entertain, have people over, but I also was hoping that maybe some weddings could be hosted in here, some private events, a couple separate, separate clubs, and one of my dreams is coming true. Chris and Molly are getting married here in the garden house. We were approached back in April if uh, the garden house was available in September for a wedding, and of course it was. And so now that we are just about three weeks away from the wedding, it's really time to kick it into high gear. So we are Chris uh, Croco and Molly Hutcher, and we are getting married uh, at Brooks Garden House. We're really excited for uh, for our wedding day. It's this September, the first time, and we got kinda, a tour of the grounds. Yeah, and got a yeah. tour of their beautiful 1820s farmhouse, and S saw and, the greenhouse and knew immediately as soon as we saw it, this is where we wanted to get married. Um, knew we wanted a small ceremony. Um, and Brooke has been able to guide us through the whole process, really has matched our vision for what we want, I think, and yeah. it's been great it's a, to work with friends. Yeah, it's been great to exactly work with friends and have some, you know, people guide us through, you know, every step of the way. Um, you know, the, the grounds are beautiful. You can see the garden house behind us. It's absolutely adorable. We have been using the back of our property as a dumping ground for twigs and leaves and logs and dead branches and all of that. And it's just kind of accumulated. It's always been an eyesore. But it's one of those things that Sean and I were like, we'll get to it as soon as we can. We're always just a little bit time poor or we mismanage our time. And that has not really been a priority to clean up back there. And now it's a priority. These limbs and branches have been here for months, if not years, and we've just been adding to it, embarrassingly to say, or just have been not making the time to clean it up, but it's getting cleaned up starting today. So all of this. So since Sean has been gone this summer, and now that he is back to work on Broadway at the Broadway show Hamilton, it's pretty much me during the day to really get this into shape. And I know that he helps as much as he can, but now that he's back to work, uh, it's I'm hitting it into full gear. So I've called my friend Athena, who is not only our arborist, but my saving grace. Hello. Uh I've taken down a couple of trees in, on, in, on the property. And Brooke asked me to come and just, you know, kind of clean up the edge of the yard because every, you know, all the branches and leaves just get pushed back that way. And uh, the other day we cleaned up a, big, uh, up a big pile down on the other end. So I decided this way I was gonna, you know, start from farthest away and work my way towards where we already cleaned up. Aim and she's a disease tree specialist and so she treated a couple of our trees, our maples, and I asked her if she'd be willing to come and help me clean the back, and she said yes, and she did. She has been working like crazy, and so I have her here today to start out cutting some logs for us that we have in our driveway from a couple trees that we have put down, or cut down, and uh, we're going to split them. So Athena is kicking it into gear in the driveway, getting that ready to go, and then we're going to hit the backyard and really start cleaning that out. So I have Athena back today. Obviously, we're starting on the backyard. And uh, we started in the area that is the closest to the garden house, but it has the most amount of trees and branches. So uh, we've organized everything by logs, uh, little branches, and twigs. And then we also have a path back to some mulch. So uh, that's how we're going to do. And we're just going to clean as we go. She's got her chainsaw in action, and we are just taking and cutting and piling and uh, getting whittling down that pile but look at all this clean the 
stuff is stacked. All these sticks are stacked and ready to go down to the burn pile. And I have, I do have a stack down at the fire pit also. Athena's saying hello. But I'm pretty flippin' proud of ourselves and I am just beat because now I've been up 14 and a half hours, but unbelievable, right? Looks so good. And look, she made a chair. I love it. Ah! She's gonna make another one. Just, I think I'm gonna put it right here with a little, I'll make a little small throw to put over the side. So another little sitting area, just for the season, I think it'll be good, but not bad. Okay, it's day two here working on this big pile. It has been no small feat. It has been a big job, but I have Athena back today, obviously, and she is just going to finish this part up and then we're going to hit on the rest of the backyard. And just organize as I go and uh, you know that way it stays a lot, it, like you clean as you go. So this week I thought that Sean would be off during the day but he's still in rehearsal for Hamilton. So I've called Athena and she is back here helping out and just kicking it out of the park. I, she is my savior. She's worth her, her weight in gold. And honestly, I just don't know what I would do with this wedding prep without her. She's been my saving grace. Current situation here in the backyard. We are on this area. Athena and I have cranked it out today. We've gotten most of this area clean right here. And we've gotten all of these areas clean. So that's great. She's going to trim up these trees for me and these bushes, which is going to be great. And we'll finish this area and then we've got that one to go. And I think we can call this a day after that. Next on Garden House 1820, the wedding prep, we are designing, laying out and building a path all in one week with a couple hiccups along the way. Stay tuned. <laughs> 